25 years ago, I was diagnosed with lupus and I was in remission for 24 years until last year, 2019, when my lupus went out of control and it hit my kidneys. I had to go on to dialysis. They hook you up to this machine three times a week, four hours a day. There's nothing to do. If I want to live, I have to go on dialysis. Unfortunately, there are half a million patients in the United States who suffer from end-stage renal disease and require hemodialysis. And uh, while the only cure that is currently available is a kidney transplant, there's unfortunately not enough organs that are available to match the need uh, of so many American citizens. These dialysis patients have a pretty difficult existence. They have to come in for dialysis sessions at least three times a week. They then have to maintain their dialysis access, and that's a battle throughout their life to maintain their dialysis access, which is their lifeline. We led a team of dozens of investigators across the United States, Japan, and New Zealand, and we randomized 330 patients to receive either standard plain balloon angioplasty or this novel, again, medicated or drug-coated balloon angioplasty. And what we found was actually quite striking. At six-month follow-up, the rate of primary patency in those patients that underwent angioplasty with the drug-coated balloon was 20% higher. The patency of the entire hemodialysis shunt was almost 25% higher. And then finally, the number of procedures that the patients required to keep the dialysis shunt open was reduced by over 50%. Based on the results of this trial, all patients should be asking their providers whether or not they can offer this technology to improve their outcomes, keep them out of the hospital, and improve their overall quality of life. <laughs>